Robert Sturdy, Conservative MEP for the East of England. You've been steering this deal through the European Parliament. What's it going to mean as a whole for UK farming? The main problem has always been with Korea is they've had an import duty of around about 20%. Uh, and let's just take one example, um, spirits, and I'm not suggesting they become alcoholics over there, but spirits are basically produced from grain. Uh, in the United Kingdom we grow malting barley across East Anglia, one of the big crops that are grown, cereal crops, that goes to produce not only a beer, because obviously it's used in beer, but whiskey and some of the barley, uh, some of the malt, uh, sorry, the barley is used for the production of other spirits. So that alone will have a huge increase in the marketplace for the products that we grow and produce. I mean, certainly we've seen in other countries in that region, China for example, a big boost to whiskey sales. So does that lead you to be <laughs> hopeful and then hopeful for the knock-on effect for those producers in your region? Well, of course, I once said at an NFU meeting a long time ago that if every person in China drank one pint of beer more per week, there wouldn't be enough malting barley in the world to go around. But the problem it has always been, these, this problem of import duties. Now, Obviously agriculture is a great opportunity for East Anglia. There are other issues there which uh, again offer huge opportunities for East Anglia. The whole opening up of marketplaces, taking away trade restrictions helps at a time when you know, everyone is suffering from a, uh, an economic downturn. These countries are on the economic upturn so consequently we should be able to benefit from their rise in opportunities, rise in prosperity and opportunities. I mean, in terms of other agricultural products from the UK, what do you see as potentially uh, being in line for a boost from this deal? Well, I suppose it's pretty obvious, pig meat. I mean, they, both the Chinese, although this isn't about China, it's about Korea, they love pig meat and they can't produce enough pig meat, uh, uh, pork, whatever it might be. We have, a, a, again, a large uh, pig producing industry within East Anglia, uh, very important to the whole ecostructure of, uh, of East Anglia because they're actually very good uh, for, the, uh, for the land and most of them are now what we call these free-range pigs which again are even better. So the opportunities for uh, the export market of, of such as pork to, the, uh, to Korea is tremendous. And particularly at the moment when they're also suffering from on costs because of the cost of their feed industry. So, uh, you know, it will be, but it won't happen overnight. That's what we must remember, because the Italians have blocked it. Uh, they've blocked it until June because they're worried about their textile industry. But uh, it will start to trickle in almost, uh, you know, immediately to start to have an effect because of the forward selling. But gradually we will see the uh, opportunities arising for um, agricultural industry in East Anglia. And you've got to remember East, East Anglia is the breadbasket of the United Kingdom, probably the world. Certainly the, the pig industry, that is one where we've heard talk of you know, very tough times in, in recent years. Yes. So how important against that backdrop is something like this for their future survival? Well, I mean, it's the first of a number of negotiations that we're putting together. We failed with what we call the, the big picture of you know, um, what we call multinational agreements. This is a, 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 a bilateral agreement, it's called, between uh, Korea and the European Union. It means a direct uh, opportunity for the pig industry to export their products, their meat, into Korea without, without any duty. So consequently, it's a huge opportunity. As I just said, it won't happen immediately. It will be a trickle effect. But you quite rightly mentioned the pig industry is having a tough time. And they're having a tough time because of various on costs. But the opportunities will build up. They're not going to, as I say, happen immediately.